Good morning. How are you? Great to A and B. I missed you a lot. I hope you are doing fine. Uh, today is our sixth lesson and today is the 20th of April 2020. Today we are going to complete with unit 8. We will cover uh, our, we will finish uh, learners books and the activity book, the workbook. So let's start directly. Let's have a look at this. I don't know if you remember that story when there was a princess who her parents make a fairy angry. So that fairy spell that princess and in her wand in her wand she makes her sleep for 100 years and that princess lived in a tower she kept sleeping for 100 years around that tower grew a forest so many so many trees and one day a prince on a horse came to rescue that princess and he was having a sword he had a sword with him now here it's a song about this princess we will listen to that song i will uh, send it to you we will listen to the first part now and then you will answer the questions here and notice that here everything in the past where did the princess live? Why did the princess fall asleep? How long did the princess sleep? Okay, everything in the past because it happened many years ago, we used did. Okay, so let's listen to part of this song. The princess in the tower. Okay, you can continue with this beautiful song later. I will send it to you. You can listen to it. Okay. And please answer the questions here. Now, let's move on to the next page. Next page 112. Before you read. Uh, before you read, work in groups. And we don't have groups now because you are all alone. So let's start by reading. Where do animals build homes? Rabbit homes. Most rabbits build their home under the ground. A rabbit home has lots of tunnels. Some tunnels lead to rooms where the rabbits sleep. What's the meaning of tunnel? This is a tunnel, okay? It's a long hole under the ground. A long hole under the ground. There are special rooms for baby rabbits and their mother. Every rabbit home has lots of rabbit holes. The rabbit use these holes to go in and out. When a rabbit sees a fox or other enemy, it stamps on the ground with its back foot. The other rabbits hear the sound. They run down a rabbit hole. 
A rabbit home keeps rabbits warm, dry, and safe from enemies. A rabbit home keeps rabbits warm, dry, and safe from enemies. Who's the enemy of the rabbit? It's the fox. What does the rabbit do when he sees a fox? He will stamp on the ground with its back foot like this. So the other rabbits will hear and they will go down in the hole. Now let's read about the beaver homes. What's the meaning of beaver? This is a beaver. Beavers build homes from branches, rocks, and mud. They build their homes in the middle of a pond. The beavers cut down trees with their sharp teeth. Look, they can cut the tree. They make a huge pile of branches. What's the meaning of branches? Branches is those little sticks we take from the trees. The beavers build a living room in the middle of their home. The floor of the room is above the water. The beavers are, and their babies live in this room. It's warm and dry. Beavers enter their home through underwater doors. This keeps their home safe from wolves and other enemies. The beaver's home keeps beavers safe, dry and warm all year long. So let's have a look here. These are the branches, the rock and mud, and look at this underwater door. So they will go in, into the water, under the water they will have the door. Okay, this is fascinating, right? Let's read now about the termite homes. The tallest animal home is built by tiny insect called termites. Termites use mud to build their homes. Some termites build huge towers. They live in the towers and in the ground below. The termites home has lots of tunnels and rooms. In the middle of the home, there is a room for the queen. The queen lays eggs. Do you remember when we talked about the ants and the ants have queen? And every worker ants come to the queen. Also the bees have queen. Now these termites also have queen and the queen lays eggs. Some termites build rooms that are gardens. They grow a special mushroom in these gardens. The termites eat these mushrooms. The termites build air holes to keep their home cool when the weather is hot. Wow, this is super. Let's have a look. So this is the air holes they keep to keep the warm um, cool. Mushroom gardens here and room from queen and eggs. This is the queen's room. Subhanallah. Now, we have questions about these animals and their homes, okay? Find two words in the text that you didn't know. Find out what the words mean. Teach the words to your group. Now, you will tell me what uh, two words you learned in this um, text you didn't know before, okay? Share your information. You will tell me this in the Zoom lesson, so prepare yourself. Meet in your group of three. Answer these questions about rabbits, beavers, and termites. Now you will prepare for yourself to answer these questions and we will discuss them in the Zoom lesson. Where does your animal build its home? What is the home made of? You will think about an animal, okay? Where does this animal build its home? What is the home made of? Does it have room? Who lives in the rooms? Why is it a good home? Okay, you will think about this and tell us when we are discussing the lesson. Which animal's home? Answer these questions with your group. Which animal home has a garden inside? Now you will go back to the uh, text here or in the previous two pages and answer these questions from one to six. Which animal home is made of wood? Which animal home has doors under the water? Which animal stamps its foot when it sees an enemy? Which animal home looks like a beehive house? 
Which animal's enemy is a fox? Okay, I want you to answer these questions. Write the answers in your notebook or in your book. It's okay. And in this way, we will finish this and we will go to our workbook, page 96. Okay, now here we have also questions about the animals and their homes. We will look at the pages 116, sorry, um, 114, and we will answer. Whose home is under the ground? The beaver, the rabbit, or the termite? You will write only the first letter, B, R, or T, okay? And you will read the uh, rest of the questions. Whose home is under and above the ground? Whose home is a, in a pond? Whose home has special rooms for babies or eggs? Whose home is made with branches? Now notice here you have two. So you have two answers. Two animals do the same. Okay, now, animal enemies. When a rabbit sees a fox or other enemy, it stamps on the ground with its back foot. What does the word enemy mean in the sentence? Take the correct answer. Let's see. An animal with a long tail. An animal that eats rabbits. An animal that lives above the ground. What's the meaning of enemy here? Does it mean that the fox is the rabbit's friend? He will not, uh, the fox will not help the rabbit? If it is correct, you will find the answer. If it's not correct, if it, the fox is not the rabbit's enemy, uh, and the, the rabbit's friend, so he is an enemy, okay? And an enemy, what will do? Name an animal that is an enemy of a beaver. You will go also to back to the learner's book and find who's an enemy of a beaver and name an animal that is an enemy of a mouse. Do you know? You should know. This is not in the book, but you have to know. Now, how many rabbits, babies, and grown-ups can you see in the picture of the rabbit home? So we will go back to the rabbit home. How many rabbits can we see? Babies and big one and grown-ups. Have a look here. Be careful. We have babies. How many underwater doors can you see in the picture of the beaver home? The beaver home. How many underwater doors? You have to check in the book and write the answer. Which animal home looks most like a beehive house? A beehive house. Remember? when we talked about the beehive in the desert. Now here, this is the poem. If you like to do it, you can do it, or we can do it uh, together in the Zoom lesson. I hope you will do what I said in the book. Uh, you will listen, you will read, you will answer the questions, and we will discuss them in the Zoom, okay? Uh, please be there. I missed you all, love you all, stay safe. Goodbye.